just about set to go and towing the slab here Kevin Gossman and Singy we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure he's more calm and settles in he's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position most guys they get a little tight they start to aim the baseball but for some reason he gets looser the ball comes out of his hand with more life and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout hard ground ball base now so a runner aboard to start the inning Francisco Lindor with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming Boog you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here here's Brandon Nimmo the pitch breaking ball in there for a strike and a pitch chases the fastball up the ladder struck him out and that's the first strikeout of his major league career and it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. Not even close there. Two and two. Man at first, one away. Lindor the move. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Gossman throws over. Lindor back in there. And he deals. Got him swinging. And to a lay down. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. Here's a 1 1. Lindor the move. Pitch misses in. Throw safe. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get in the scoring position with the heart of the order of the plate. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ballgame. Can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. Man on second, two down. And a foul ball. And down on strikes he goes. Third out. They get a leadoff single but leave him stranded. Now the Blue Jays will get their chance. No score. now in Toronto and today's starting pitcher Jose Buto singing he's kind of a road warrior yeah I definitely say so you know some guys shrink a little bit on the road they're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans we behind them but but this guy seems to thrive in hitter. adversity and being in some hostile environment so when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark Why to kick the pitch? Got him looking. And one gone. 
Boog, he was shopping at the buckle right there, the way that slider made him. That, that, that was just nasty. And now it's Dalton Varsho. One down, base is empty. And a base hit. Dalton Varsho with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So, man aboard, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now at the plate. I love the fact that we've seen both Vladimir Guerrero and Vladdy Jr. win the home run derby. They're the first father-son duo to ever win it. Vladdy back in 2007 and Vladdy Jr. in 2023. Even though his dad didn't give him any advice for the event other than to go out there and hit home runs. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. And here is Alejandro Kirk. Next offering is downstairs. Two outs. And that clips the inside corner. To the right side, McNeil. Over to first, and that is the inning. We move to the second in Toronto. No score. Second inning set to go. Here's Jesse Winker. Jesse Winker. One one now. And he grounds one to the right side. Oh, he throws it away. That is it. The left field. Uh, it's a dangerous throw for the first baseman to try to handle right there. Exposed him to a potential collision. And we've all seen some of the ugly ones over the years on plays similar to that one. So it's great. Nothing came out of that other than the throwing error. And now J.D. Martinez fouls one away and now three and two. Kicks and deals. Foul tip into the mix, stuck him out. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. When that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. The throw to second. Over to first. That's two. Nicely done. One, six, three. And that will end the inning. One error in the inning, but nothing more. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Here at Rogers Center, we head to the bottom of the second. Here's the third baseman, Ernie Clement. The pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just that bunched him it. up on the inside the part of the plate. Could get around yeah. on it and catch it out front. Wagner. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. 
And now here is number seven. He handles oh. it himself. Already two out here in the home half that of that inning that number that two. That's your stop. Leo. Jimenez. And next for Toronto, Leo Jimenez. Two out spaces empty. And that's outside. Now three and one. And that one off the inside edge. You walked him. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So all down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Two outs. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Nimmo makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. No runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on base. We head on now to the top of the third. No score. And we're back. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. And stepping in for New York, Jeff McNeil. Late on that fastball. I think he was a little excited there, saw the fastball, but needed a step ladder to get to that one. It's going to have to tighten it back up. He wants to have a good at bat. And a pitch. And that one a little below the knees. Ball three. Struck him out looking. Oh, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff blowing in on his hands. He's got out his two away. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. So the batting order turns over. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. Kicks and fires. Swings through that one. I think he was sitting off speed there. Swings and misses. And the Mets go one, two, three. Offense held in check there. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the right fielder, Nathan Lukes. The wind of the pitch. That one way inside. Inside three and two to count. his way through base hit. So now back to the top of the order. Nathan Lutz with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it kind of be overwhelming. Dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here. Back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup, and it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. And yeah, there's a ball. Two one hit the air left field. Martinez has a beat on it. Makes the grab. The center, the center fielder, fielder number twenty five. 
Dalton Varsho. And now Dalton Varsho. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. At the belt and fires. And a foul ball. Righty delivers. Foul ball still a one and two count. Though Chris through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Here in the last half of the third. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. The pitch. On the ground to third. Gets to it with a slide. The throw, and they get the out. One left for Toronto, and we're still knotted at zero. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started, and now the center fielder, Brandon Nimmo. Ball to strike, the pitch. Big swing and a miss. It's pitching a while, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Swings, throw it in, that's a strikeout. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, move. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. And now it's Mark Vientos. And a pitch. And that one's a little bit low. Three and one now. And that's ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Now bad. Man at first with one gone. Here's Pete Alonso. Alonso. And a pitch. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Varsho moving under it. He's there. He's got it. Two down. And next is the designated hitter, Jesse Winker. Jesse Winker. And the righty deals. It oh. misses. Two and one. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So it's a good take by him. Swung on. Belted. That's back there. It's a ball. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2-0. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. J.D. Martinez. Bounce to third. Slides for the stop. Gathers and throws. It's there, and that's a great play. Mets had two runs on this blast. And it's two zip.
It's Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom four, Leading and now the catcher comes up to hit. Alejandro Kirk. Alejandro. Right-hander kicks, deals. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning, get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there and have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Got him. And one away. Now, now Ernie Clements next up for the Blue Jays. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. And that's in there at the knees. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Base is empty one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. And it skips into there. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Number seven. Second baseman. One down. Now it's the second baseman. One, two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for That's using the entire field. Leo. Just couldn't sit back long Leo. enough on that one. Leo Jimenez next up for the Blue Jays. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. Three. Got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. We played four. It's the Mets two and the Jays nothing. Set for the Leading start of the inning. Man. Starling Marte the up to him. Starling Marte. Marte. The count two and one. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. The batter the batter one. And now Second here's Jeff season. McNeil. Jeff, Jeff. McNeil. McNeil. One out, base is empty. Next hey. offering is Two. in for a strike. And ball. another ball. Two strike. Two, two. And that one missing low. Inside ball four. Boom, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. The pitch. A little out front there as he swings through it. Boom, the runner first needs to be careful right here. He's dealing with a pickoff artist on the mound. McNeil at first, one gone. 
Bounce to the right side. To first, no, and he beats it. The bat. The bat. The bat. A potential double play ball hit to first is probably the toughest one to execute cleanly. That first baseman has got a very tough throwing lane to deal with because of the runner headed to second base. And a lot of times guys try to throw over or around the runner, which can really mess up a throw like that. Still, definitely an error, though. Back to the top of the Mets order. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Shortstop takes a ball. Still two and two after the foul ball. Runners at first and second with one gone. Got him looking for the K. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Just locked him up right there for the second out. Oh, and that's an at bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot. So now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. Left hand batter waits. That's out to center field. He's got it. And that is that. Two left for the Mets, but they're on top 2 nothing. Back now in Toronto. Here's the left fielder, number 36. Leading up for Toronto. No left fielder. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Danny Young, the young lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Maton getting loose as well. And the right hander deals. On the ground. McNeil. In plenty of time to first. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. So digging in, Nathan Lutz. The Mets up by two. Last half of inning number five. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. That one at 95 missed up top. Yeah, that's ball two. Right side, McNeil. Tosses to first. All half of the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. And the batter is George Springer. Well, Boog, Springer always grades well with his bat. He's been incredibly consistent at the plate in his career. Two down, nobody on. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. And here it comes. In the air, right side. And that is the third out of the inning. Top of the sixth inning. And stepping in for New York, Mark Vientos. That well, misses, and it's two and one. Movement in the Blue Jays bullpen. Number 43, getting ready to go. Yarbrough, a left-hander, also throwing. And right back to the mound. Tosses to first. Lead-off man retired in the now sixth. The first base, Pete Alonso. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Pete Alonzo. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top half of the sixth. 
Swings through that one for strike two. One ball. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. And a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Pete Alonso with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Kevin Gosman makes way, and he kept him in it even though he's in line for the loss right now. New arm when we come back. New pitcher now for the Jays, number 43, on for his major league debut. So we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands, and it's a bigger stadium. But the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher. Whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw. And just let him lead you in this one. So up next for New York, Jesse Winker. He had a big swing back in the fourth. A two-run homer, and that helped them get the lead. And what a swing it was, Boog. Poetry in motion. And those are the type that you hardly feel when you connect with the baseball. Just so smooth. A great feeling off the bat. The pitch. Hit on the ground to the right side. Dive, and he's got it. Guerrero over to second. What a double play that was. Inning over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. 2-3-4 due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Mets two, and the Jays nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning. Now the number two hitter, Dalton Varsho. Hard hit to third. Whips it to He's first. Up. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Up next to the Blue Jays. The first, the first baseman, baseman, Vladimir. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Singing. He's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen now, now, things now. on the outer half, <laughs> those are the ones that become elite. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Alejandro Kirk. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. Up and in, and it's two and one. Really good athlete, and many times we talk about you know the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. Two outs. Right field, down the line, and that one slices foul. Really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it, and he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Alejandro Kirk with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. Dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Jose Buto out of the game. Really solid performance out of him as he leaves with a slim lead. We'll take a break. New arm when we get back.
Danny Young takes over on the mound. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. Two outs, runner at first. Now the third baseman, Ernie Clement. That That's one bullshit. just misses. With the tying run at the plate, here in the bottom of the sixth. Ground ball, Alonso He's takes out. it himself. Inning over on the ground out. Took just two pitches to finish the frame out of the bullpen. Clean work out of the Mets bullpen there. We're through six full. It's the Mets two and the Jays nothing. Back here at Rogers Center, top of inning number seven, and stepping in for New York, J.D. Martinez. That yeah. one finds the zone. It's two and two. We tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Payoff pitch. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it. He made him pay for that one, and they add to their lead. It's 3-0. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around real quickly and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Here's Starling Marte. Here comes a pinch. Always exciting oh, to see a leadoff home run and an inning Good kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. That That's one misses three and one. Mm -hmm. Pop foul out of play off to the right. Hey. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Guys nice. doubled up with the slider for that punch out. The one before just caught the zone. So as a hitter, you have to protect right there. Great pitch to just expand a little bit more. He got that chase he was looking for. That right there is good pitching. Jeff McNeil stands in. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Three. Cut on and miss struck him out two away down. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there and I don't mean to laugh but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean it looks like a fastball middle in kind of has cutter action and it just bunches you up to whereas you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it and not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. One ball two strikes. And a one two. 
hit in the air right field. Lukes makes the catch in and goal. The Mets do pick up a run on this solo blast. It's now 3-0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And we're back. We're set up. for the we're last half up. of the seventh. Here's the second, the second baseman. baseman. Number seven. Wagner. And a 1-1. One -one. Swing and a miss. Well, in this one, one the offense has sputtered. Two, Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Left-hand hitter waits. Swings and misses, struck him out. Now now Leo Jimenez, Leo. next up for the Blue Jays. Jimenez. On a line, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Leo Jimenez with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. One gone runner at first. Now the left fielder. The pitch. Got him. And there's two down. That's just a nasty pitch right there. And I'm not surprised at all that he got the strikeout looking. You know, at the plate, the right field. looks like it's a fastball right off the there. corner the entire way Whoa, until just that very last second when that cutting action takes over and brings it. Taking over on the mound for the Mets, Reed Garrett. This is his first appearance of the season. Now pitching for New York, number 75, Reed Garrett. So up next, Nathan Lutz. Two outs. Bows it off, still one and two. And he deals. Now that's smack to right center. And there's a hit. Lead runner around second. And it throws offline, safe at third. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. So the lineup flips over. Here's George Springer. Base hit, one run in already. Now the second run is in. They trail by one, it's 3-2. George Springer with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. Really. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So up next for Toronto, Dalton Varsho. And the pitch. Springer on the run. Pitch misses. Throw to second. Out there. And that ends the inning. The catcher definitely looked ready for that stolen base attempt. Got in position quickly and a strike down to second base to end the inning. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Ryan Yarbrough. Yeah, this is the best way to make your Major League debut. No one on base. Yeah, you're already going to be a little nervous out there, so I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases. 
And another ball. Pets and misses. That's a strikeout. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. Okay. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. And next for the Mets, Brandon Nimmo. And a pitch. Way out front for strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Pitch misses there. Three and two now. Movement in the bullpen. Henesis Cabrera, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Little, the power lefty, up as well. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Battling here as he fouls it away. Kick San Dios. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Throw to first. Gets him. Good job to stay with it there for the second half. Mark Vientos up now for the Mets. Swing and a miss as he was late. One ball, two straight. Up and in, and the count is even two and two. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Mets three and the Blue Jays two. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Ryan Stanek. These are the now, spots where relievers really, really make a name for themselves late and Boy. close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Well, one run game. Now here is Dalton Varsha. That one well upstairs. Two and one. He was late. Looking to get the tying run on base. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Go to first. In time to get him. One away in the strikeout. Pretty good strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Now, Vladimir Guerrero hey. Jr. And he blows that one, one by him at a hundred. Swinging. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. But I'm so glad I'm retired. Now the Toronto four hole hitter, Alejandro Kirk. Two down, nobody on. Just off the inside edge.
Check hey. swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. Two balls, two strikes. Two outs. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The healthy cut. Tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Right-handed reliever. Please Just do. missed. Ernie Clement on deck for the Blue Jays. And a swing and a miss. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. They trail it 3-2. Baseman Pete Alonso. Alonso. The why to kick the pitch. Now it's three and two. That one hit to right. Makes the catch for the out. The bat, bat number three, three. Designated, designated hitter. So Jesse now here's the DH, Jesse Winker. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Edge is on for a strike, and the count is one and two. One down, base is empty. That one ripped. And there's two down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself no, it's no, about no. the process. No, he did everything right hey, right hey, there. Hey. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. The wind of the pitch. Comes up empty, that's strike two. Yeah, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, they've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. That one is absolutely belted. Parsho going back. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Nothing across here this half. Five, six, and seven will leave things off in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Mets three and the Blue Jays two. So they turn to Edwin Diaz out of the pen. A chance at his first save of the now year. Number 39, Edwin Diaz. So digging in, Leading Ernie off. Clement. What are you the looking to do in these spots? You're down a run. You're leading off the inning. He's not a power hitter, a guy that's looking to tie it up with one swing. So he's going to take and get into this at bat and try to get deep into the bat, ultimately, however he can, get to first base. One run game, bottom nine. Swing and a miss. And the count is two and two. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some pitchers. 2-2 two -two now. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. The 2-2 two -two now. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. The I mean, you get that punch the out, you get settled in. Yeah. You feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump. And kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. That's hard hit in the line. And it goes oh, just foul.
Next pitch just misses. Two balls, two strikes. Okay. Just missed. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Leo Jimenez waiting to hit for Toronto. A one-run lead. And the home team trying to pull it out. Got him! And there's two away. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all the home. First two batters, two strikeouts. Let's see if he can strike out the side. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. Spencer Horwitz trying to get something going for him with two away. Diaz is just one strike away. Gets a piece and stays alive. Trying to close out a one-run lead here in the last half of inning number nine. High fly ball out into left center field. He puts it away, and that'll do it. The Mets hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. 3-2 the final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.